plumbing a new tank, I'll show you how to create a leak-free joint between your PVC fittings and pipe. Hi hey guys, I'm Randy, and on today's BRS TV How To, we're gluing PVC plumbing together so you can finally get water moving through your new tank setup. For some reefers, the thought of plumbing a tank with PVC is a bit scary, but it's actually pretty simple and can offer a lot more benefits than soft plumbing. With PVC, you can easily implement helpful fittings like ball valves, gate valves, unions or reducing fittings that can adapt to meet your specific plumbing needs. Not only that, but aesthetically you can accomplish a much cleaner or finished look with PVC and it comes in a wide variety of color options to really personalize your tank. So let's get to gluing. PVC primer and cement comes in combo packs and both are important to creating a leak-free joint. Rather than just glue holding two PVC pieces together, primer and cement chemically react together to weld or fuse those pieces together. The primer will soften, clean, and prep the pieces prior to gluing, so it's important not to skip it for a proper seal. One of the first things to do prior to gluing is to make sure that your pipe is cut to proper length and is free and clear of any burrs, dirt, or debris. I picked up a low-cost miter box from a hardware store and used it to get the straightest cut possible, then scraped off the burrs with a small piece of sandpaper. For any remaining dirt, I can give it a quick wipe with a cloth and make sure that there's nothing on the PVC that can cause channels in the primer and glue as I push the fitting and pipe together. And with the pipe and fitting prepped, I'm ready to start gluing. I'm using the purple primer for today's how-to to help show you how I apply it. There are other primers available, including clear options, if you're worried about staining your pipes. Now I apply the primer to the inside of the fitting and the outside of the pipe while ensuring that the entire surface where they connect are fully coated. Also be sure not to let the primer drip back into the fitting or pool up inside. A light coat should be all you need and you can apply cement very shortly after. You have a pretty short window period to complete the next steps as the cement and primer combo will quickly start curing onto the pipe, so be sure you're ready to go. In which case, I'll add enough PVC cement to the same places I just added primer. I only need enough to coat the surfaces of PVC pipe and fitting, but not so much that it drips. Now with the glue applied, I'll push my PVC pieces together as far as they'll go and give it an eighth or a quarter inch twist to lock it into place. The pipe will naturally want to swell and back out, so I'll continue to put pressure on the pipe and fitting for about 30 seconds to allow the primer and cement to create a solid bond. Now that it's all glued together, let's talk about a couple tips and tricks that can really help you fine tune today's how-to. First, there's quite a bit of discussion about how long to wait for these glued joints until they're safe for your tank. You'll want to check the label for your manufacturer's listed curing times, but here Well Done suggests anywhere from 30 minutes to about 24 hours. Personally, I always wait until the next day after gluing to be sure that the joint can withstand pressure and that the chemicals are dry and won't get into my water. As many reefers do, you may have already dry fitted all your plumbing prior to being ready to glue. And one trick that I've found to help keep each angle from the dry mock-up in line while you're gluing is to create little tick marks on both the fitting and the pipe while they're properly aligned in your dry mock-up. When you go to cement them together, just offset the marks and twist them until the marks line up again. Otherwise, you could use unions after each joint, which also makes each section easily removable. Much like the alignment marks, you could also make a mark or two for the depth that the pipe will insert into the fitting, which can help you match your dry fit mock-up exactly. Well guys, that wraps up today's how-to. If you have more questions, please don't keep them to yourselves, because that's what this team of reefers lives for. Give us a quick call or email, and if you need your answer in the next 60 seconds, hit us up with a chat. See you in the next episode of BRS TV.